To check the gear oil level in the tiller gearbox, remove these two 8mm bolts. One is a brace for the tine cover, and the other connects the two portions of the depth control assembly. Once removed, the cover can be pivoted forward and the plug on top of the gearbox removed. Using any type of makeshift dipstick about 4 inches long, lower it straight down into the gearbox until your finger and thumb contact the housing. Raise the dipstick, not moving the position of your finger and thumb. The space between your finger and the oil level should be approximately 2 inches. When the tiller is operating, this airspace is essential to prevent excess pressure from being created in the gearbox, which would result in oil leakage through the seals. If oil needs to be added, use SAE 8090 gear oil, preferably with an EP designation. While the cover is pivoted forward, check the tightness of all the nuts and bolts particularly those securing the tines. Do not forget the two nuts that hold the inner tine holders to the tiller shaft. This will require a 22 mm socket and extension. Refasten the hood with the two 8 mm bolts that you previously removed. Be sure not to fully tighten the bolt connecting the depth control handle to the drag bar, and using the spring-loaded horizontal pin on top, secure the depth control in the third hole down from the top. To attach the rear flap, we recommend a shortcut to save you the frustration of having the rubber bushing push out and block the installing of the washer and cotter pin. With scissors or a sharp utility knife, simply remove about a quarter inch from the bushing. Then, spray a light oil on the prongs and on the bushings and slide it on, making sure that the bottom roll of the flap is pointed outward. Install the washers and cotter pins. If a quick coupler is included in the order, now is a good time to install the male tang. To do this, you will need a 10mm Allen wrench and a 19mm open end wrench. First, hand tighten the tang to the tiller, making sure that the hole in the tang is pointed up. Before tightening the two bolts completely, use the QH bushing as a centering tool to make sure that the two Allen heads are properly aligned with the two corresponding holes in the bushing. Lower the pin into the hole and pass your Allen wrench through the bushing to hold the bolt head while tightening each nut. Now remove the bushing and reinstall it to make sure that the bolts are still properly aligned. Finally, spray or otherwise apply a light coating of lithium grease, never seize, or similar lubricant to the tang. In conclusion, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this short video, please call 888-224-4444.
4271 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.